all the major cities it seems that we're going to seems to have some kind of transportation that you can rent. So we got the little bikes, you put your little credit card on the back of the bike, swipe it, and go. Reminds me of San Francisco, they had a lot of bikes and I remember them having like little scooters that you could rent too. So that's kinda cool. Well anyway, we are in Yokohama, Japan. Today is just gonna be a wander around the city day. Because we had a big day yesterday with um, Disney, Disney Sea, Disneyland. And then we made a quick stop at Shibuya Crossing, which was so awesome. And right now, you can see right behind us, there's, let's see if you can see it, right there, the big, tall, brownish building with the curves. That would be Landmark Tower. And then you got the cool Ferris wheel also in the background. So we're gonna head over there, take some insights, take some pictures. And then head to probably Chinatown. I know you see one Chinatown, you've probably seen them all. But I'm super excited to see this one. Alright, see you in a few. Still wandering around, but you still see the ship from the background. Absolutely beautiful. And we just went to use the restroom because apparently here in Japan there's a lot of unique toilets that we're not used to back home. Like ones with remotes that will bidet, basically a bidet. You push the button, it squirts you, cleans you, I think some of them dry you. We found in this bathroom, we have a, more like a trough that you just squat and the girls would just basically squat and pee. The toilet's like a hole in the floor basically. Pretty close to that landmark tower right there. I'm assuming it's kind of business buildings, whatnot, but it's really cool. Then there's a sailboat we're gonna try to go see that's right next to it. That looks like a pirate ship. Then you have Cosmo World right behind me where you have from the harbor you can see the big Ferris wheel with the clock on it, and at nighttime it's all lit up and does little shows. Well, that's right here, Cosmo World. There's some little roller coasters there, other rides. So it doesn't look like many rides are running right now, but it could be because it's during the day. It's only 10.25 right now, so in the morning. We're gonna continue walking around, see what else there is. It's absolutely beautiful here today. Weather's great. The trees are looking awesome. Well, I made it to the ship. It's located right by Landmark Tower. Just literally right behind us. It looks like you take little tours, pay for a little ticket, get inside. I don't know how much a ticket is, but you can go inside, look around the ship. Right now, there's a school of looks like teenagers taking a tour right now. But it's, it's called Nippon Maru. Nippon Maru. I believe is how you pronounce it. I, don't quote me. But it's pretty cool. And the city here is very quiet. It's not really noisy. I know they're doing some construction behind me. But beside that, it's not noisy really at all here. It's really quiet, peaceful. Everybody's still so friendly. Yeah. And just like walking around back home, downtown, except everything's in 
Japanese. I think while wandering around Japan, what did I come across is, that's right, Gold's Gym. Made me think of when we were in Russia, I said apparently Gold's Gym is in every country. And I've been seeing these little places, like right here, this tall building. I'm assuming they're like a little garage. You put the car in, push the button, and goes just like a, a sorting deck. So I thought that was kind of cool. I'm dying to see uh, one of them in action. Besides the high tech ones, they have these. Put them on the platform, car drives on, goes up. And that's a pretty smart way to have a parking garage. I don't know if you can see it. The car in the middle, you can see it moving. I just thought that was cool, because we don't have those back home that I know of. So they make the use of all the little space they have. They make good use out of it. I'm seeing all kinds of new things every time I walk by somewhere. But look at these. Park your car in the parking space. These flaps pop up, block your car from leaving, which helps prevent you from not paying. But I thought a better thing is cars not gonna get stolen. So unless they pay your bill, your car should be safe right there. So I like that. We should have stuff like that. So we're here at Yokohama Stadium. Baseball is their main sport. Their most popular sport from what I understand. So if you have a chance, you're going to be here in Yokohama during baseball season. And you catch a game. It's a pretty nice looking stadium from at least the outside. And from what I understand, there's only, here in Japan, there's only three baseball stadiums that use real turf. The rest are all artificial. Don't quote me, that's just what they told me. Here's Yokohama Stadium. Say bye. Bye. So made to yet another Chinatown. This one in Yokohama, another gateway entrance. I'm gonna see how many Chinatowns we can get on this vacation. And how many gateways we can take pictures and video of. So. And from what I understand, Yokohama's Chinatown is one of the largest ones here in Japan. Let's enter Chinatown. And I gotta make a quick walk through the gate. So we're gonna take a quick tour, walk around Chinatown on our own, see if we get some food, some souvenirs, and just enjoy our stay here in Chinatown. Because after this, we're heading back to the boat because we're supposed to see a show where they're bringing some of the Japanese drummers to the ship. They're gonna be on the main stage, do a performance. And then I believe they said something about serving sake. So definitely gotta try that and see if I could try all the sakis in each port. And that's funny because I thought there was supposed to be only one gateway entrance, but I was wrong. There's a second one, literally just down the road from the other one. So walking around Chinatown, you can see China Square right behind me. Bunch of little shops, apparently a bunch of little tours. You got a bunch of kids right back behind me doing tours. Fancy little restaurant behind me. And I 
Yes, Christie's already gone down the alleyway looking at kimonos or little outfits here and there. And if you can see behind me, the popo are coming. Chinese police. And otherwise, it's really cool here. And it's close to the ship, so I think that's why they, most of the people, especially the crew, only usually have about two hours to get off the ship. And they take turns. And they come here because it's really close to the ship. But really cool, exciting little place, especially if you only have a few minutes, a few hours to hang out. Chinatown's a place to come to. Look what we ran into. Just walking around and there's like a like a hundred shops of food, 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 food and some trinkets in there. Walking around, but look at that. That's awesome. Just walking through the hallways, walking through the streets and boom. Let's go see if we get a closer look. Got the incense burning right behind us. It smells really good. But it looks like you have to pay to actually go inside the temple. You have little tickets right behind me. And you go inside, but it's my first temple so far that I've been to on this trip, but pretty cool. So I had a duck back there in the window. That's the, also the first time I've ever seen a dead duck in a window. So she had a lot of firsts on this trip, apparently. Then you got, you got some of these little restaurants that I've noticed where people are eating like six, seven chairs, maybe eight. And then you got people waiting outside the restaurant, waiting for those people to finish eating so they could take it. So I'm assuming it's pretty good food if you're gonna be willing to wait and they only have a couple seats in the restaurant and they still do some good business. Tastes fantastic. It's like a creamy shaved ice, strawberry, and things. Mm. Delicious. I'm trying to hold camera with one hand and still eat with the other one, so I will let you go so I can finish this delicious ice cream and head back to the ship. I keep saying that, but we haven't left actually. Keep stopping at little stores and eating or buying. So just sitting here enjoying my strawberry ice cream from Taiwan, I think they said. And happened to see the most killer thing. What was it? A uh, scooter for McDonald's. Apparently they deliver McDonald's here, or at least in this area. That is so funny that Mickey D's has gone mobile, or mobile. So, anything, anything you think of, it'll be out here somewhere. For my friends back home, I found Sega. Let's go take a quick look inside. Interesting. That Mario Kart, which I know which friend would love that. With a little Japanese twist on it, a couple of extra characters. That's it, Bob. Found this cool little park right near where the ship is docked. It's a nice little garden. Got a cool water fountain in the background. Can't see the people behind them, but the statues behind that water. If 
Apparently it's the Guardian of the Water, presented to Yokohama by San Diego. That's what the little plaque says. Not sure if that means San Diego, California, or another San Diego, but pretty interesting. You never know what you're gonna run into when you're wandering the city of different cities. This little park over here seems to be a very popular area. Everybody's playing with their dogs, their kids, learning to ride bikes. Well, it's been fun here in Yokohama and Tokyo. New experiences, but I'm excited for the next couple days. We're gonna be in Japan, different ports, for the next few days. And then China. I'll see you on the ship. Three, two, one. Yoisho! 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 Very, very well done. Thank you. Congratulations.